start on the wallpaper now. Got my scoring tool, got my remover, got a measuring cup and said, oh, well, I didn't want to put it in the one we use food. So I, I put a piece of tape where it's supposed to be. It's like six ounces of this. And then we got a one gallon garden sprayer. It was like 10 bucks at Lowe's. It's really cheap. Who needs an expensive one? And we're going to go score the walls first. Then we're going to mix uh, the solution with hot water. And then we're going to go spray the walls down and let them sit for 15 minutes and respray and let it get moist. And then we'll be good. Okay, let's we'll score the walls. We don't care about the paper. We tried to pull this off. And some of it came off. It was coming up in little pieces like that. So we then we'll pull with all that. So this part I'm not going to score, but anything red. I'm going to score because it's vinyl. That solution won't go through the vinyl, it'll just sit on top of it. So you got to poke holes in it to get it into the paper behind it. I still need to work on my pouring skills. <laughs> Go into that line. Hot water. Got it filled up. What you gotta do is you gotta pump air. How do you know when to stop? Uh, when it's hard to push. Guido's concerned. Just lock your handle in, and then you can carry this around now. It's like you're spraying for insects. It just seems to me like that would hurt the plaster behind there. No, that, the plaster is hard. I mean, it's like a rock. Uh, now, if it's drywall, you wouldn't want to get the drywall soft on that. So it would be a lot more trouble. So really, plaster in this case is actually helpful. So how much would you spray if you, if you wanted to do this on drywall? I guess you just wouldn't get it as wet. It'll get to the point where we won't spray as well. So what, what that means is you gotta unloose the thing, pump it up about eight or nine times, you get it kind of where it's uh, kind of hard to push it. Okay, I just wanted to say that this uh, Piranha wallpaper remover it uh, has a really pleasant smell to it. it. It's not, it's not stinky or anything like that. It's, uh, it's pretty nice actually. I need to refill it. I got to release the pressure out of here because it's uh, full of air pressure. So I'm going to put it over the thing, and if you just open it just a little bit, it'll go. Do you hear it? Now the more pressure, of course, the more noise it makes. Here's the room, the way it looks right now. It looks like it would make a good haunted, haunted house room right now. And there's Kevin on the floor scraping. We've made a mess. Glad we put down that plastic. Kevin, would you say that the the uh, remover has worked, has helped? Yeah, I wonder if it would have been just as good if it had been hot water without the remover. Or yeah. laundry detergent. Uh, the or vinegar. People said use vinegar, but hot water probably would have done just as good. I don't know. I have nothing compared to. So. Right. Okay, it's been a few hours. And a lot of scrubbing. We found some cracks, but we were expecting that. What was that a lot of wallpaper on the wallpaper? Yes, there's, yes. Over. Several layers of wallpaper. <laughs> The end of the second day and we've taken off as much of the wallpaper as we can and underneath and even though like sections like that that uh, look like there's still wallpaper there it there's not that's actually the the, 
base of the wall and down here on this corner that's that's the bottom too there's there's no more there either um, but we're going to clean up for the night clean the paper up off the floor and uh, call it a day I've already picked a, a lot up and have a garbage bag ready This is um, the entrance to the den. They've covered the floor here, which is good. Um, and I'm going to go in. We've hired a company. Okay. They're going to fix the holes and then do a skim coat over the whole room. This is over the fireplace. They've taken out a big bulge that was there. It looks like uh, the state of Florida. That's the shape of it. And then this in the corner that I didn't even realize was uh, that bad actually before. And you can see the crack over the window. They've even covered up the ceiling fan in here so that they wouldn't get dust over on the top of it. It was probably dusty before, but they've done a really good job uh, covering uh, the whole floor up, Kevin's floor that he just refinished. They've done a really good job covering things up. So that's it for now, and there's the window. They uh, took the shade off the window, actually. I didn't notice, but they took the shade off the other window, too. I didn't notice that till just now and covered that up.